Hi, my name is Greg, and I'm a technical trainer and map enthusiast here at SAS. Today, I'm here to talk to you about getting started with mapping in SAS Visual Analytics. Let's say that I'm planning a vacation, and I want to visit as many national parks as possible. Luckily for me, I've got a data set that includes a bunch of information about all of the national parks in the US. So I've got data items for things like the park's state, the region where the park is located, the park's name, as well as the latitude and longitude coordinates where the park is located. And I want to use my expertise in SAS visual analytics to turn this into a map to help me figure out where I should go on this vacation. Now, the first thing that I want to do is simply figure out which state I should go to if I want to visit as many national parks as I can. So the first thing that I'm going to do, the first step in creating a geo map is going to be creating a geography data item because I need some way to turn all of this tabular information into something that exists in space, something that can be mapped. So to do that, I'm going to click on new data item and I'm going to select geography item. And remember, my first goal here is to figure out which state I should go to if I want to visit the most national parks possible. So I want to create a map of national parks by state. So I'm going to call this new geography item state. And I'm going to make sure that it's based on the state data item. So in the based on field, I'll select state. Then I need to select the geography data source. And here there are three options. The first is the latitude and longitude in data. This would allow me to plot points from latitude and longitude in my data set. I'm not going to use that for this map. The next is the geographic data provider. This would allow me to use custom polygons or ESRI feature services. The last one is geographic name or code lookup. And this uh, will allow me to use things like country names or zip codes that SAS Visual Analytics already has mapped for us. So I'll select that. And then I just need to pick the name or code context. I need to tell SAS Visual Analytics what I'm trying to map. And in this case, I'm trying to map these two letter state abbreviations. So for the name or code context, I'll choose US state abbreviation. Then you'll notice on the right hand side of this window, it will tell me that my data is 100% mapped. That sounds good to me, so I'll click OK. In the data pane, now there is a new section called geography and that state geography data item has shown up there. So now that I've created my state geography data item, I want to actually create a map to help me figure out which states have the most national parks. So to do this, I'm going to create a geo region. You might also hear this called a choropleth map. Now there's two ways I could do this. I could either select the state geography data item and drag it onto the report canvas, taking advantage of that auto chart feature, or I could click on the objects pane and select the geo region map and then drag it onto the canvas. I'm going to do that. I'll click on the objects tab and then I'll select the geo region map and add it to the canvas. Next, on the right hand side of the screen, I'm going to assign data roles the way I would for any other report object in SAS Visual Analytics. For the geography data role, I'll click add and I'll select the state geography data item. Then for the color role, I'll make sure that frequency is selected. And now I have a nice map showing me which states have the most national parks. I can see a legend at the bottom telling me that a darker blue means that a state has more national parks. So I can see that Alaska, California, Arizona looks like they would all be great choices for this vacation. Whereas states that are a lighter color, states like Indiana or Iowa or Illinois, maybe have fewer national parks. And remember, just like any other object in SAS Visual Analytics, I can click this Maximize button on the top right hand side of the object and see the individual data. So I could sort by frequency 
uh, and see that indeed it looks like California, DC, Alaska, and Arizona all would be great choices for this vacation. Now I've narrowed down which states have the most national parks, and I want to create a map to help me figure out which national parks in particular I should visit. To do this, I'm going to create a map of the locations of all of the national parks. I'll need to create another geography data item to do this. So I'll come over here to the data pane. And I want to create a geography data item based on the park name so that I could map each individual park. I'll click on edit properties next to park name. And I'll change the classification from category to geography. This edit geography item window will come up again. I'll leave the name as park name. I want this to be based on park name. But now I'm going to change the geography data source. Rather than geographic name or code lookup, because national parks are not one of those pre-built geographies that SAS Visual Analytics can map for us, I'm going to choose latitude and longitude and data and tell SAS how I want to map this myself. So I need to provide it the latitude and the longitude from that national park data. For the latitude field, I'll select the Y or latitude from my data. For the longitude field, I'll select the X or longitude from my data. And then I'll change the coordinate space to Web Mercator because that's the projection that my data was originally in. On the right hand side of this window, I can see that now my data is 100% mapped. So I'll click OK. And I'll see that now in the geography section of the data pane, park name appears there right next to the state geography data item that we created earlier. Now that I've created a new geography item for park name, I want to actually create a map. And I want this to be on a new page. So I'm going to add a new page to my report by clicking the New Page button. Then I'm going to come to the Objects pane, and I'm going to select the Geo Coordinate object, and I'm going to drag it to my report canvas. Then just like we did before, I'll come to the roles and I'm going to assign a geography role. In this case, I'll assign the park name geography data item that we just created. And now I have a map showing me where all of the national parks are in the United States. Based on these maps, I figured out what states I'm going to visit and I've even picked a few hotels. But I want to use these maps that I've created to figure out what parks specifically I'll be able to visit on each day of my trip. So based on the maps that I've already created, I've decided to visit Flagstaff, Arizona, because I could see that there are a lot of national parks in Arizona. But I want to figure out what parks I can go to on any given day while I'm there. So to do this, I'm going to take advantage of some other features of SAS Visual Analytics. First, I'm going to come up here to the top left hand side of the screen and I'm going to enter viewing mode. I'm going to click view report. Then on the top left hand side of this map, I'm going to click this location pin. And remember, I'm going to be visiting Flagstaff, Arizona. So I'm going to type Flagstaff into this search bar and I'll hit search. And then I'll click on this first result for Flagstaff, Arizona and I'll click on Geographic Selection. This will allow me to select all of the points within a particular radius of the pin of Flagstaff, Arizona. And I know that I don't really want to drive more than about 50 miles in any given day. So I'm going to set this distance to 50. And then I'll click Draw Selection. Now the map will zoom in and it will show me all of the points within 50 miles of the pin that I've dropped of Flagstaff, Arizona. So here I can see that it looks like there are five national parks within 50 miles of Flagstaff. I can put my mouse over them to see more information about each of these parks. So it looks like I will have a pretty busy few days in Arizona. Now I'm done planning my vacation, but I have a friend who also wants to plan a vacation and also really likes national parks. So I want to provide this map to them. Before I do that though, I want to clean it up a little bit and make sure it's presentable. To do this, I'll come back to editing mode by clicking the pencil icon in the top left hand side of the screen. 
And then I'll return to page one, where I have that region map showing me which states have the most national parks. I'll click on the map, and then I'll click on the options pane on the right-hand side of the screen. The first thing that I'm going to do is give this map a better name and title. So I'm going to call it something like number of parks. The next thing that I'll do is scroll down until I reach the region state section of the options. And then I'm going to deselect data labels to remove those distracting state name labels from the map. I'll continue scrolling down and I'll try turning off the map background so that all I see is the US states. I could also reselect the map background and change it by clicking on this open folder uh, on the right hand side of the map services section. And there are many different possible map backgrounds that I could choose. In this case, I'll choose a simple uh, gray, light gray background. Next, I'll do similar things to improve page two, where we had that coordinate map of national park locations. So here, I'll make sure that I have the map selected. I'll click on the options pane, and I'll give it a better name and title as well. I'll call it something like national park locations. Next, I'll scroll down to the scatter park name section, and I want to change the marker shape. Rather than displaying each national park as a circle, I'll try displaying it as a star. I could also change the map background here as well. So I could click on the open folder, uh, open folder icon next to the map services and select a different map background here. I'll expand this section and I'll select something different here. I'll try a terrain base map. Finally, I could come to the roles tab and add the region or unit type to the data tip values. This will allow me when I mouse over a particular park location to get more information about it to see what type of park it is. Is it a historic site or national monument? As well as what region is it in? Is it in the mountain west or the northeast and so on? I could even add the region to the color roll to allow me to quickly and visually see which group each particular park belongs to. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about SAS Visual Analytics as much as I enjoyed teaching you about it. You can check out the description below for more links about this topic, and don't forget to subscribe to our SAS Users channel.